I'm not going to make this a long recording. I just want to say basically something that many people struggle with. We all know people in our life. We all have folks that make us feel inadequate, like we're not good enough, like we can never achieve certain things. People who criticize us, who tear us down, who make us feel like we're worthless. And I say to folks out there feeling inadequate, feeling indecent, feeling like there's nothing that they have to contribute. Screw all that. Remember what makes you special. Remember what makes you unique. Remember what makes you worthwhile. Sometimes you have to look in the mirror and say to yourself, I matter to me. As crazy as corny as that sounds, it's just simple things like that that lifts you up, that boosts you up. Sometimes looking for validation in other people and things and places and situations doesn't really help you because what happens when that moment is gone? Well, those people are not around or well, you're not being validated as you once were or feel like you should. A lot of times we feel inadequate because of who or what we allow ourselves to be compared to, our realistic expectations of what we should be based on, things that may or may never be true about us based off of what somebody else's opinion is of us or society thinks that we should be. Be you. Do what you do. Make it happen in the way that you do. Stop worrying about what everybody else thinks about you. It's really not going to get you anywhere, especially if you're of a certain age. Sometimes we're past, way past our prime. You know, we're not in high school anymore or we're not going through peer pressure. It's just whether or not you're able to handle a situation or you're not. If you prepare yourself mentally, physically, emotionally to handle particular things, don't let people manipulate you and move you based on their emotions and feelings and opinions about you or usurp your emotions in ways that you probably shouldn't be. You lift yourself up by not giving yourself the negative self-talk, being aware of your circle, who you have around you, what you take in even when nobody is listening, nobody is watching. Who are you when nobody is around? What are you paying attention to? What do you believe about yourself? How relevant is it? Get into the habit of having balance around it. Yeah, people are going to say negative things, hurtful things, things that tear you down, things that don't make you feel good about yourself, stuff that may want you to just give up or not want you to give up, cause you to give up because of how you may feel towards it. And you try to crucify those emotions. You try not to live based upon the emotions of how somebody else feels about you. And you do that through your habits being, you know, affirmed in yourself, looking at the positive things that you do, looking at the pros and cons of yourself, looking at your faults, your failures, but looking at your triumphs as well, being honest with, with yourself, honestly self-effacing as an old timer told me, looking in the mirror and always being truthful with you. When you know who you are, as the old timer once said, then nobody else can tell you or manipulate you in ways that, you know, are unnecessary. Like, so you shouldn't be manipulated at all but the point is not to let people come and define who you are based upon their opinion of you as opposed to seeing the actuality the reality of who you are looking at yourself and being honest about what you see and knowing where you stand with yourself because many times people have an opinion they have ideas about who we should be and what we should stand for and what's acceptable but what's acceptable to you where do you stand? What are you doing right or wrong? Who are you when you wake up each day? What makes you feel inadequate based upon the things that you're doing? What are the things that make you great based upon what you are doing? Not so much so because of what society says or what somebody else, be it family members, be it friends, be it people you don't like, coworkers, whatever it is, somebody in a form of relationship. What makes you special? what brings out the best in you based upon who you are. And it all starts with you, the person that you're look, looking at in the mirror, or the person that you are when nobody else is watching. The stuff that you allow to come into your head, be it good or bad. So next time you feel inadequate, remember, you have a choice as to who and what you will allow in your space, in your spirit, in your mind to cause that feeling to go or to stay. It's up to you. What will you do?